The weather slowing down some of the country's busiest airports and highways. Tom Costello is following it all. Tom, how's it looking? Lester, this is the problem. We've got incredible traffic here because we've had incredible rain. All of this is bottlenecking into airports, so some of these folks stuck in traffic will not make their flights. But as it relates to flights, 3,700 delays right now. We've only got a couple of dozen cancellations. Make no mistake, though, this is an airline stress point. Across the eastern U.S., that heavy rain is testing travelers' patience today on clogged highways as 49 million Americans drive over the coming days. Whatever happens, we're just going to roll with it. To long and winding airport security lines. It's just a lot. A lot of people, a lot of um, just, every, it's just chaos. Five million people flying through today and tomorrow. We kind of go into this knowing that it's going to be a real busy travel time. Group two, please proceed. Chicago O'Hare, the nation's fourth busiest airport, is United's mega hub with 850 inbound and outbound flights each day. She came into Fox 27. It's a 24-7 logistical juggle. From medical and mechanical issues to weather, catering, fueling, crew schedules, flight delays, passenger and luggage reroutes. Everyone in here is engaged and connected. Uh, to make sure that we can keep the airline on schedule. High stress on the ground and high above. So this is an area most people don't get to see. It's the ramp tower for United here at O'Hare. United 634 Taxi Bravo Sierra, Volchar Taxi Way Alpha. The controllers here act as traffic cops, directing hundreds of planes moving on United's ramp. All of the ground traffic in the alleys between the Bravo and the Charlie Concourses, and then departing flights are turned over to air traffic control. Skystip 364 ramp, North Port, Bravo Line 2, parking Bravo 1. This feels like a pressure cooker job up here. It can be, um, but usually you're too busy to notice. Dave Heisinger is the ramp tower manager. Anything from a blown tire to a broken airplane or somebody making a wrong turn can take the field from just relatively quiet to chaos. The big test comes Sunday. Nearly 3 million flyers nationwide setting a new record. Tom Costello, NBC News, Chicago. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.